everyone. My name's Michelle Adkins. Um, you can find me anywhere on the net, Marvel in the Sky, M-A-R-V-E-L in the Sky. Um, I came here because to, I decided to do a website in Drupal. I've never done it before, and this would be the place to learn it, I suppose. And right now I'm having an error, and I'm hoping that together we'll be able to fix it. What and, What's the error? Um, I have it hosted on my master domain, and it's now rerouting all my domains that aren't my master domain. So I, I think I need to go into HD access. But once again, I, I'm not, I decide that I want to do something, and then I kind of figure out how to do that. And Drupal is very good to have like online resources, but when I learned that this, this retreat was happening, I thought I should attend and see if I could get better. Twitter, Facebook? Uh, Everywhere, Marvel in the Sky. Everywhere, Marvel in the yep. Sky. <laughs> okay, hopefully we'll solve that problem before yeah, the day's I hope, out. I hope. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, this is Matt Genovese. I uh, run a website locally called door64.com. I also have a blog called brainshower.com. Uh, I've been developing in Drupal for about two and a half years now, uh, both setting up the, both of the websites I mentioned and doing some development on the side too. Um, I'm looking to just see what, you know, collectively see what everybody has to offer and uh, try to learn as much as I can today and, and try to give some back. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at uh, M Genovese, M G E N O V E S E. And uh, I'm on LinkedIn and Facebook. Pretty easy to find too, Matt Genovese. That's it. And what about Door 64? And Door 64 is a community uh, I started back a uh, couple years ago that uh, is a Drupal site. It actually is running Drupal 5X. Uh, we have. Uh, a little over 6,000 people on the site um, and uh, as part of the community and uh, the whole goal is to help local tech professionals meet their uh, colleagues locally uh, in, in the high-tech arena. Great, thanks man. I'm Chad Kumba, I'm with Empowered Software, a um, consulting firm and we do primarily just Drupal development. Um, I've been doing Drupal personally for two years and as a sole source of income for about a year solid now. And I'm more interested in the ways that we can stretch it and kind of put it into new applications. Um, I'm a very much under the hood kind of guy, so I'm always going to be taking it apart, putting it back together, seeing what cool stuff I can do with it. Um, specifically, I'm really interested in a new technology that's come up, Open Atrium, that is a system of modules that's built on top of Drupal. It actually works as kind of like a corporate intranet. It's a sort of like an answer to SharePoint portal, but it's all open source and it's all built in Drupal. So we'll be going into that a little bit later. I'm Paul Terry Wallace, and I uh, organize this event. Uh, the website is DrupalRetreat.com. It's a very rudimentary Drupal site at this stage. And uh, I came to learn and to organize, and uh, hopefully we'll uh, have future Drupal retreats uh, in uh, different settings. But I think we got a great setting here, and thanks, thanks to Dustin here. We've uh, got this awesome uh, place at UT. And uh, my main site is spring.net, and uh, I'm springnet on Twitter and uh, also on Facebook. So on Facebook. Okay, let's let's get it get it started here. Our first uh, speaker is going to be Matt, who just introduced himself. So I'll let you take it away. Yeah, here. I'll give, I'll give you this. I'm just going to put these. Just lay okay. these right. Here. Oh, I get in stereo now. Okay, well, um, I'll, I'll give you, what I'll do is I'll give you a little background about my uh, experience and, uh, and I'm really just going to kind of open it up and, and see what people are interested in learning. I, I heard a bit, I took some notes about what people were mentioning on the tape here and uh, we'll, uh, you know, I, I want, my goal is to help you as much as, you know, you can with whatever you need to, to learn about and obviously matrix with what I know about. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I'll, I'll try to help you as much as I can and we can try to make it a, a very useful experience for every, everybody. Um, so my background, uh, I'm, I'm a little bit strange in the area. My background is actually in chip design. I, I work in semiconductor, well, I, I worked in semiconductors uh, for about 11 years uh, in functional verification. So my background is actually uh, not, in, not in traditional web design. Um, 
but that said, I, I have a programming background. Uh, also, um, I've done some consulting for startups and programming and user interface and things like that. So my background is kind of varied. Um, I started Door 64, uh, which you see on the screen here, uh, actually in 2006. And it, and it failed horribly. And that's a whole other discussion why it did. But the, the point is, is that uh, I chose a CMS that was not Drupal. And part of that was part of the reason. Um, and I'll say that because I, I chose this other one, and I, I'll make it nameless for now because I don't, I don't want this going out, and I don't want to be flaming other CMSs out there. Um, but the the one that I chose was uh, it had a, a a very spaghetti code base. You know, it, it seemed to have everything I needed at the time. But when I got under the covers and started using it, I found that it was just very difficult to. Uh, get things done, and if there were any fixes that had to be made, I just, you know, the, the support wasn't there. There was even one time where I talked to the guy who started the CMS, and he had no idea, you know, uh, how to fix the problem. So I was I was in a pickle, and, and at that time I was making other mistakes with Thor 64, and things just work, it was, just wasn't working out. So I, uh, I killed it, or I let it die, and I ended up taking a, a number of months off to rethink my, my strategy for how I was going to you know, if if I was going to even re you know retry doing it again, and uh, I started with Drupal uh, to evaluate that, I said, well, I might as well. I'm not. I'm going to get away from this other CMS. I'm going to try Drupal anyway, and uh, see how it works. And it turned out that it, w it was working so well that I thought, well, I'm going to build a demo site and see if I could rebuild what I think Door 64 version two, you know, the resurrection of it would look like. And uh, it started working so well that, that this is it. This you know, I just kind of took the the test site and made it the production site, and it's been running that way ever since. Um, so why did I choose Drupal? And, and I, I can't claim complete uh, foresight. A lot of it's hi, hi, you know, a lot of it's hindsight things that I realize now that I, I you know, was kind of lucked out on by picking Drupal. But this is why I think it's an uh, it's an excellent platform. Uh, part of it is is that the, I, I think it has a very well thought out data model underneath the covers. Um, Drupal, uh, does anybody here know Java? Does anybody here have an, an understanding of Java? Or, and Unix as well, perhaps. OK. So people have an, you know, there's an appreciation that you have. Let me go back to Unix. There's an appreciation you have for the permission structure and just the, the, the way that the, that the Unix file system, again, is, has a fairly well thought out model. And uh, in Java, there's a, there's a neat capability where everything is an object, right? So you can grab hold of something. And even if you don't know what it is, you can still grab hold of it. And so I, I, I use these, um, these two analogies to explain why Drupal is so useful. Because Drupal, like Unix, has very uh, delineated um, areas for permissions and for types of content. And, uh, and of course, the theme comes into there. And, and they're, they're, very, um, they're segregated, but yet they all work together much like in Unix where you have your permissions and you have your files and, and, uh, and the, the various aspects uh, you know, of, of uh, you know, groups okay, in, in Unix I think carries over very nicely to, uh, to Drupal. And so it's the, the paradigm, uh, people say that Drupal has a learning curve and I think it does unless you come from a background where you have you, you know, other technical experience in these in, in Unix and other places where like boy you know everything seems to make sense it was it was very well thought out in that in that way um, as I was mentioning about in Java you know, everything's an everything's an object here everything's a node almost almost everything's a node um, and they're get, I think they're getting towards everything being a node but it that that type of data model allows you to write modules write plugins that uh, can interact with other plugins who were, were made in isolation, right? And they don't have to know about each other, but yet they can work together. And that's the beauty of it. And, and you can, you know, even if another module created another content type, you can still grab hold of it and do things with it because everything's an object, everything's a node. And I, and, and I could go on about that, but the, I think the data model is solid. It was well thought out from the beginning. And uh, uh, that, that provides for a very extensible platform.